Tide fans are on their feet. Lee Tiffin kicks it off, and we're underway. Glad you're with us here on Crimson Tide pay-per-view as Jones will field it just across the 10 and has running room across the 30 and great field position for the Red Wolves as they'll send the fullback Jeff Blake in motion to the top of your screen. But they'll put the ball in the belly of their top running back. That's Reggie Arnold, the 5'9 junior out of Little Rock. As once more, Leonard will work from the gun, and he'll do that a lot today. The short drop, the quick pass, and it is caught in a dangerous throw, but a completed pass. They had two men in the area. First and 10 after a couple of nice plays to start things off for the Red Wolves. They'll run it right up the gut. Leonard with yardage to the 45-yard line. So it's only taken three plays, Tyler, for Arkansas State to move into Bama territory. Going in motion is McClendon to the top of your screen. Pressure coming. And then slipping and falling was Leonard. So a tough break for the Red Wolves, but Alabama's pressure forcing that. He does have a touchdown, an 87-yard return against Tulane. Punting will be Brett Schrabel, averaging 39 yards per kick. High wobbly kick, fair catch called for, and that's not an easy one as Arenas was looking into that bright, bright sunshine. 109, 176 and three, his numbers throwing the football this year as Glenn Coffey gets the carry and picks up good yardage just shy of the first down mark. Because when Alabama has played in these big games, he has been as sharp as we have seen him throughout his career. Empty set, working from the gun. Swings it out, McCoy with the grab. First down and more across the 25 to the 26-yard line. That'll be a first down after the stop by Ben Owens, the middle linebacker. Rock sodded up the middle with Johnson, Caldwell, and Marlon Davis. The give, right side, Coffey, and he's got running room. That is close to another first down. In fact, it will be a first down as they spot him out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Still very valuable in the passing game. Upchurch is in the contest, but they'll dump it off to Coffey instead, and he will fight for that additional yardage. I think they had him stop, Tyler, but he absolutely ran over Dalen Walker, the junior right cornerback. Second down and eight with Mark Ingram. The lone set back, the freshman. They stretch hand off to him, and he'll cut it back, and he'll pick up nice yardage to the 40. That'll set up third down and short from there. Jennings with the stop. Upchurch in at fullback, a rare look for Alabama as they'll give it to Ingram. He's got a first down and more. Two straight third down conversions for Alabama on this drive. They wouldn't get much more than that the rest of the game. Wilson on third and long. The strike delivered to McCoy. He'll make the grab at the 20 yard line. Coverage by Dalen Walker, but he was having to play behind McCoy the entire play. Second and seven. As Wilson will work from the gun. Plenty of time, swings it out, catch made by McCoy. Boy, that throw was perfect, and Tyler Red had to be in order to be completed. Got a lot of beef in there for Alabama. The only wide out is Julio Jones, and they'll go play action. And Wilson will keep it himself, and he will get the first down, I believe. It will depend on the spot. As Wilson was cutting it up, he got it by the shoulder pad, and that's why he spun around so quickly. 16th play of this drive. Coming up for Alabama, it started at their own 10. There's the gift coffee, cutting it back inside the five. Touchdown, Alabama. Great vision, and then the wheels to find the end zone. Glenn Coffey scores for the seventh time this year, and Alabama is on the board first. Three third down conversions on the drive by Alabama, capped by Glenn Coffey's nine-yard touchdown run. Kickoff fielded. At the five-yard line by the Red Wolves, there's a flag on the play as this one will likely be brought back because of a clip. During the return, the block in the back of the receiving team, number 32, the penalty will be enforced half the distance to goal, first down. As they'll go with a single back set with quarterback Corey Leonard working out of the gun. He'll have to tuck it and run. And he does that very well, but Dante Hightower tackles extremely well, as you saw there. First one covered 39 yards, which is right at his season average. Pressure coming, and the kick gets away, and Arenas will drop it right at midfield. And did he get it back? Yes, he did. Three wideouts in formation. Marquise Mays into the ball game at the bottom of your picture. Play action. Wilson with all day across the middle. There's Mays. He'll dive, and he'll make the grab. Inside the 30-yard line of Arkansas State. McCall shifting, and they'll give it to Ingram. Bouncing it to the outside, and then cutting it back. Inside the 20 to the first down mark at Alabama. 
will move the chains again. With both Upchurch and Ingram in the backfield with Wilson, who works from the gun. All day to throw. And that one's going to be picked off in the end zone. Intercepted by Dominique Williams. And he'll run it out all the way across the 20 near the 25-yard line. And Wilson, who had all day to throw, locked in on a guy. And the Red Wolves made him pay. He's not had a ton of time to deliver passes of his own. He'll hand it off on the inside give. They'll run that option quite a bit with Reggie Leonard. They fake the handoff, and there is nowhere to go for Leonard. That was read extremely well by the Bama defense. Brett Schrabel averaging 38 yards on his first two punts so far. Arenas dropped the last one, but got it back, and Alabama nearly blocked that one. A high spiraling kick at Arenas. We'll watch this one roll dead at the 27-yard line. 12.50 to go. Only a 7-0 lead. I'm a 4 of 5 on third downs. That's what they're faced with here. That throw is high. Trying to go with Julio Jones, and a very late flag comes in. But it's the correct call as Jones was held. Pass interference on the defense, number 39. The penalty will place the ball at the spot of the foul. It includes an automatic first down. You should get a good look at Wilson. Working under center, handoff, coffee, left side, big running room across midfield and down into Arkansas State territory at the 47. That'll be close to another Alabama first down. Wilson, who started off red hot, six of seven, is 0 for his last five with a pick. Pressure coming and he'll go down. That is the 22nd sack this year, the second of the season for Stanley Walkley, the defensive end out of Little Rock. Low line drive and Jones will field it inside his own 20 and he'll be brought down immediately. Great coverage by the Crimson Tide. Ali Sharif also showing a corner blitz. We'll see if Bama stays with it as they check off at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the blitz, here comes the pass and it's picked off. Rashad Johnson interception 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Alabama. No flags. Rashad Johnson gives Alabama the 13-0 lead with a 31-yard return. First and 10 inside their own 10, but again, right up the middle, and that's big yardage for Reggie Arnold. So Alabama gives up the first down. Showed a lot of shotgun, but they just line up in the I formation right here. Power look, and they'll play power football, and it results in a couple of yards. Red Wolves 0 for 4 on third down. They've got third and six here. Tucking it, running it, picking up the first down, and a whole lot more will be Leonard as he slides down across the 40 to the 41-yard line. They'll go on play action. Pressure coming, and Bama will get to it. It was Brandon Dederick from one end. Bobby Greenwood gets credit for the sack. Pressure coming again, and they'll get him again. Bobby Greenwood with another sack for the Crimson Tide, all the way back at the Red Wolves 33. Low, wobbly kick. Arenas with a chance to return this one. And he will. Across midfield, one man to beat. Kept his feet inside the 25, and final will be brought down at the 23-yard line. It's been a while since we've seen one from Marinas covering that distance. Team number 17, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It will be first and 10. Ingram into the game, number 22. There's Smelly in motion. Blitz comes. Bama picks it up. Jones, the completion into Arkansas State territory, stays on his feet, but finally brought down as he gets inside the 40-yard line. The second and third drive, those were the passes that they were not completing. Wilson stepping up and now running it and gets down, but not until he takes a pretty solid hit inside the 35. See the time there under a minute 40 now. Handoff up church. And Roy will get the legs churning inside the 30, and that will be enough for the first down. It will stop the clock momentarily. So Alabama will try to convert 
on third down. They're five of seven so far. Blitz comes again. Wilson steps up. He'll try to run for it. He gets to the 20, and that's going to be about two yards shy of the first down mark. Yeah, 37 38 right between as Tiffin is 13 of 17 on kicks this year. That one is up, and it is no good. Just missed it left. Will they try to pick up some yardage and get points? They'll hand it off to Reggie Arnold, and they will not use a timeout here. We'll hear from tied head coach Nick Saban. As he heads to the locker room, Barry Krause will catch up with him. And that will come up shortly as that will indeed be the final play of the first half. Not picture perfect, but still a two touchdown lead for the Crimson Tide. 14 0 over the Red Wolves of Arkansas State. Play action look. Nobody open. They'll dump it off to McCall who will pick up nice yardage across the 35 to the 36. Second and four for the Tide. Ingram again the setback, and he'll get the carry. He'll make one man miss, and then he'll get a great block downfield, and it will be running room inside the 40 of the Red Wolves. But there you see him also refusing to get out of bounds. Alabama with a hurry up offense, and it's working. Ingram again. Nick Saban calls it the red ball offense, and it works very effectively to start this third quarter. Handoff to Upchurch with running room inside the 10, inside the 5. Touchdown, Alabama. 22 yards on the touchdown run, and just like that, Alabama has stretched its lead to 20 to nothing. You saw the numbers for Corey Leonard, who coming in had completed. 53% of his passes. They'll give it to Reggie Arnold, and he'll have nice running room across the 25. Play action. They'll dump it off to the fullback, and he'll cut it back to get first down yardage. That's a nice play call right there as they fake the handoff to Arnold and then dumped it off to Jeff Blake, the fullback. Another low, wobbly kick. Arenas fields it and will get a running start. But well covered by the Red Wolves as the Tide will have it. But I'll take 249 yards of total offense over 71 any day. Ingram with running room inside the 45 and down to the Arkansas State 41. You know, managing your team as a quarterback is every bit as important as how how accurate you are on your passes or where what you know what you're doing offensively getting your guys in the right play Wilson looking to throw tried to unload at the last moment but wisely Tyler tucked that thing away as he was going down this is the second punt of the game upcoming from Fitzgerald beautiful high spiraling kick but unfortunately for the tide it will carry all the way into the end zone and that touchback is the fourth of the year off the foot of Fitzgerald. Leonard just three of seven for 17 yards passing, but they've had more success on the ground. They just haven't been able to sustain that for very long at all as Reggie Arnold gets the carry. And he's had some low line drives, and Arenas has come very close to breaking a big one. Let's see if he does so again. That one a bit higher, and Arenas got hit as he made the grab. Actually, Tyler before the catch was made, and yet he still held on to the football. Ken Williamson, our referee. And so it'll be first down Alabama. Nick Saban said he wanted to try to work him in the rotation. He's getting that opportunity here. Wilson looking that direction, but instead goes to Jones at the 35. Jones at the 30 gets hit from behind and brought down at the 32 yard line. Walker, the tight end, offset to the right side with Mark Ingram back in the game. Joining Wilson, who works from the gun. John Parker Wilson throwing, catch made by Jones at the 20. Working under center. Pressure coming, dumps it off, catches made. Smelly 15, first down yardage inside the 10, and Brad Smelly has it down to the nine yard line for Alabama. Again, it's Ingram behind Wilson. 
as the Tide tries to add to a 21-0 lead. Ingram up the middle, into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. They don't have to make the tackle at the 15, just get in, in position to make the tackle. Corey Leonard, the quarterback, has been chased all day and is so again. That catch is made in running room down the left sideline. Finally forced out of bounds. You pick up five or six on first down and then promptly give it right back with a penalty. Bouncing off tacklers is Lawson and he'll get to midfield and just on the Alabama side of the 50 before Rashad Johnson brings him down. It'll be third down. Nick Saban wants to see his Crimson Tide squad finish strong here in the fourth quarter. That pass broken up and now they're going to throw the flag. Flag Ali Sharif. Pass interference on the defense, number 26. The penalty will place the ball at the spot of the foul and includes an automatic first down. A lot of teams forced to go for it late in the ball game against Alabama this year. Pressure coming, pass is broken up and incomplete. Red Wolves wanted pass interference, but they didn't get it. Yeah, I was just noticing that one that. away. He only threw it about 40 yards. With a flick of the wrist. Fitzgerald's third punt of the day will be fielded by Jones inside the 20, and Rashad Johnson will bring him down at around the 23. But I want to see Alabama get a chance to beat up on Florida. On the delay give, Reggie Arnold bouncing it to the outside, and he'll get knocked out of bounds after a gain of about eight yards. Mentioned Courtney Upshaw in the game, so is Milton Talbert, number 90. As the give once more will go to Arnold, and he's going to be close to the first down. In fact, I think he picked it up. Go on the handoff to Lawson right up the middle and just across the 40-yard line will be Derek Lawson. He's, been, he's rotated in there as well with Lorenzo Washington, and the both of them together have done a great job. You know, it, it's somewhat... It's going to be offensive pass yeah. interference. Needs to be. I think Nick Saban liked the call. Pass interference on the defense, number 24. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. An automatic first down. Well, what do you do? You know, what do you do? They'll set up the wide receiver screen and being brought down near the 40-yard line was Anthony Robinson. Possessions at a premium for a team that's down four touchdowns with 10 minutes to go. They'll give it to Lawson again, and he'll pick up a couple of yards, and it's going to be close to another first down after Brandon Fanny makes the stop. Alabama would love to pitch a shutout. That is the one thing they have not done this year. In fact, they haven't done it since 2005 as that pitch winds up on the turf and falling on it will be Arnold. Pressure coming, they get him again. Brandon Dederick. Leonard with pressure coming, and they get him again. Rolando McClain able to bring him down. And the tie turns the Red Wolves away. Second and 10. Wilson on the slant. Jones shy of the first down by about a half yard. And is obviously in some pain. As he comes to the sideline, quarterback keep, and that'll be enough for the first down. First down, Alabama. Ingram in the backfield, but Wilson will go to the air. Pass caught by Alexander, but they have danced around a little bit too long there, Tyler, instead of turning it upfield. Third down and four for Alabama. Wilson with the blitz coming. Steps up, unloads a pass, caught Darius Hanks, first down Alabama. That's a tough throw and a great catch by Hanks to keep the drive alive. And even as far as this season, remember the two-lane game was where they had so many difficulties, so much difficulty with the pass protection. They have definitely improved on it. Give Ingram inside the 10, bounces it outside. He will score. 
Touchdown Alabama, Mark Ingram. May have hurt himself on the play, but he finds the end zone and the tide leads it 34 to nothing. A lot of running room up the middle for Jermaine Robertson. Tuscaloosa native, Arenas, set to return for Alabama. He may have snuck out there without the coaches realizing it. Schrabel putting it to Javi, who will get clocked. Flag comes in. Thankfully, though, Arenas gets up. He may not be certain which time zone he's in. to catch a kick, a kicking team number eight. Philly is 15 yards from the spot of the foul, first and 10. One more snap, one more give, and that is your ball game. As Alabama, a very solid 35 to nothing win over Arkansas State. The Red Wolves fall to four and four on the year. Number two ranked Alabama improves to nine and zero. Oh. Final thoughts when we come back to Tuscaloosa. Nick Saban's Crimson Tide, a winner again on homecoming here at the Capstone.